Okay, so what we're looking at now is the main screen for a Brain Avatar 19 channel S. Loretta Open Heart Neuro Meditation. And this screen is really just showing the raw brainwave activity for all 19 channels. You can see the 19 channels identified going down the side of the screen here. And this is just the raw EEG. If we go to the next tab, it's identified as Gamma Up. You'll see this 3D live imaging of the gamma activity, which is identified over here in the drop down menu. We chose gamma, and we're also looking in the anterior cingulate. So, this 3D head image is showing us the voxels in the anterior cingulate and showing us the amount of gamma activity happening in real time as this person was doing the meditation. You can see in this instance that for most of the time it is green, which indicates a low amount of activity, and every once in a while you see these bursts of bright color indicating an increase in activity. The next tab is identified as user up. This is actually also looking at gamma activity, but it's looking at it in a different region of the brain. This is looking at gamma activity in the insula. Now, it's showing both the right and the left insula, and we are interested in the right insula in this particular protocol. You'll remember from what we discussed earlier in the workshop that the anterior cingulate and the right insula are both commonly associated with loving kindness meditations. The right insula is particularly important because it is more of a body-based emotional response. So we are interested in activity in the right insula. And right now what you'll see is that both of them are pretty quiet. They're blue, indicating a very low level of activation. The next tab is identified as monitor. This is where the feedback is set, the parameters for what the person has to do in order to get some sort of a reward signal to let them know that they're in the right meditative state. The first side, the orange side, is indicating gamma activity in the anterior cingulate. And you'll see the squiggly line moving up and down as that activation pattern changes. The solid line is where the threshold is set. Essentially what has to happen is that the meditator has to stay above the solid line in order to get some sort of feedback. However, they also have to keep the gamma in the right insula above threshold as well. So on the other side, this yellow side, the yellow line is indicating gamma activity in the right insula. You see it moving around, and it's quite far from the threshold. The threshold is way up here. So at this point, the person is getting no feedback. I'm going to turn on a, uh, a specific music soundtrack that can go along for the feedback so that we'll get an indication when they're in the right meditative state. Now, right now, they're getting no feedback because what was happening was uh, during this meditation, the person was going along, getting no feedback, and I stopped them at about the four-minute mark which we are approaching uh, right now. And I asked them what was happening. I paused the session and I asked them what was going on because this was someone who has a lot of experience with neural meditation and knows a lot about the concepts and methods of this process. And I was surprised that they were struggling as much as they were. When I asked them about what was happening, they indicated that they were puzzled why they weren't getting feedback because they were very focused on their breath. And that was the exact problem because they were doing a focus meditation and this was an open heart meditation. So once we clarified what the neuro meditation session was measuring and helped them work with some specific tips and tools, we went back into the session and continued recording and you'll see any moment now what happens. As soon as they shifted gears, look at that. 
Look at the activity in the right insula. It's shot way up. You can hear the music playing now. It's playing this ambient music, which is the reward signal. The music is letting you know that you are in the right state, that you are holding on to a specific state of consciousness. And so you'll see that as this person continues, there are times where they will dip below the line and the feedback will momentarily cut off until they get back into the right state. So in this way, this is how EEG neuro meditation can be a very effective tool to help people learn exactly where they're trying to go with their internal state and to learn how to hold that state of consciousness for increasing periods of time.